all of our clothes. Yep. <laughs> Don't call me if you need anything. Get out. Okay. Bye, Mom. Bye. Okay, we can sit down in the stool. How does it go open? I don't know. That's weird. <gasps> it's great. I love it. Oh, it's a little messy. Can you just feel that? Feel what? The cold air. So it's, it's probably just the old furnace. The, this is an old place anyways. Oh, just hang on with my clothes up. Oh, it's great. I love it. So, um, since we don't have any beds right now, which bean bag do you want? I'll have this one. Alright, I'll just call this one then. Well, it's pretty late. We better get undressed and stuff like that. Just something. I don't know. But I have a great time. Why is he in? Oh my god. Who could be here this late at night? Hello? Hi to you too, I guess. And I didn't want to tell Stephanie because I didn't want to scare her. Yes. So ever since we moved in this house, some really strange stuff has been happening. Like the first night when we stayed, or maybe it was the second. I don't. I can't remember. Mom. What? Oh. Hi, Stephanie. And I told her I had somewhere to go after school, but 
the first or second night when we went back. The clothes, we found them all over the floor, but then there was this really creepy girl hanging out in our closet, and she was our next door neighbor. Hey, I need you to come. Mom, I'm trying to. Please. What's wrong? No. Hey, I'm sorry. You know, ever since Dad died, you've been acting like a depressed widow, and you haven't even cared about us. You were happy when we left. Why did you storm out like that? You know why? No, I don't know why, because you didn't know where I was. I was talking to Mom. Why did you have to go tell her stuff? Tell her stuff like what? Now get 